Discovery arriving. John Phillips, former naval officer with the now famous tradition of ringing on board uh, the visiting crew of Discovery. Facing Discovery, we're getting some great video. You guys look great. And the largest uh, contingent of crew members on board the International Space Station since November 25th, 2002. And it was a rare opportunity that we had just to hang around for a little bit. You see Sergey and Eileen enjoying a little bit of a break. Those uh, moments were few and far between. Literally, as soon as we got on board the space station, it was time for us to start robotic operations. Vegas and I were the prime space station robotic arm operators. One of the first things we had to do was grapple the boom and hand it off to the shuttle arm. And you saw that maneuver right there. The next flight day, it was time for us to install the MPLM. Meanwhile, down in the mid-deck, EVA folks are preparing for the first spacewalks. Yes, we are doing very hard degassing the water back to make sure you can feel the full volume of the water before the EVA. And make sure I put the pants on before you get out. And we can see, you can see the big uh, digital camera floating behind us and waving. That's the sign language in Japanese. Thank you. And Steve Ray is very happy before opening the door. This is a shot from uh, mid-deck uh, that uh, I'm going outside. This is a view from outside that um, we should make sure that we are uh, starting the EVA. And the very first task was the uh, demonstration of the uh, on-orbit repair of the uh, TPS. And we will check the tools one more time before we start the uh, demonstration. The first demonstration was CB Ray did uh, crack repair for the RCC. He used the uh, NOVAX uh, non-oxide adhesive experimental. And that's uh, using a spatula, Steve doing uh, Iron Chef in space. <laughs> It's like uh, peanut butter. And I'm using the uh, tile repair, we call the EWA, uh, emittance wash applicator, using a shugu type uh, application to the damaged tile. And uh, this shape we call it a PGT shape. I thought it was uh, representing Japanese island. <laughs> And uh, both uh, demonstrations were great. And we go move on to the fun part of riding the arm. And uh, let Steve Ray describe the uh, ride on the arm. Riding the arm up and seeing views like this was a great way to uh, spend your first couple hours outside. We spent a uh, little over 20 hours outside and uh, with the three EVAs, and it was just uh, a real pleasure to with, work with uh, Soichi-san. We're just spacewalk brothers after uh, so many years of training together. This is the helmet cam view of uh, climbing around on the space station. It's what it looks like. And uh, when Suichi's out on the end of the arm carrying that big control moment gyro that he replaced, that's what he looked like. Spectacular view. Here it is uh, being installed uh, in its carrying location uh, back in the payload bay. We brought up a new one and replaced the uh, broken one on station. Suichi is uh, <laughs> checking his hair. <laughs> Look at that big vortex pattern on the, on, on the, in the ground there. The things that you can see while you're doing an EVA are, uh, are, are truly wonderful. It was uh, time to, if you look at that little spacewalking guy off the nose of the orbiter, that's uh, uh, EV-2 working on uh, uh, moving up to the gap filler. Wendy was uh, flying the arm with Vegas' help. Andy was supervising. We reached out and uh, pulled out those gap fillers that were a little too far forward for us to be comfortable with. And the ground team put together a wonderful plan for us. It worked great. And uh, we were pleased that the cap filler came right out. That's a little red RTV on it. That's the stuff that bonds it together, although not perfectly, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Suichi and I uh, were sort of taking pictures of each other as we came back. And this is what the cap fillers really look like. They're sort of a cardboardy type uh, substance. Vegas and I got to do some uh, repair work of our own only indoors, and this was an RCC plug, reinforced carbon-carbon plug demo, where you would actually repair a hole in the leading edge, and this, and this was a carbon-silicon carbide pre 
produced by Thiokol. Here is uh, John Phillips, Vegas, and Wendy putting in one of the payloads we brought up, which was the HRF rack. And John was very happy to get this because that meant he had a legitimate reason to be on station and do work. <laughs> now, the real brains behind transfer was Wendy, of course. We were basically her drones, and, and Wendy, and thanks to... <laughs> Cindy did, did a fantastic job, and really the best way to transfer this cargo was basically form a conga line. And when you have several people, this is me tossing some bags which were tossed to me out, and this is going back in, going to Andy. Seems to be a little bit overloaded here. Looks like an old Lucy uh, flick, but, uh, and then he's passing them off to Wendy. And, of course, Eileen was the uh, water uh, a person that collected all the water, and here uh, Sergey Vegas and I are wrestling with that famous ZSR rack, and we're trying to figure out just how does this thing go together and put it all away, and and we actually did figure out how to do that and got it uh, in, in place before we came home, and I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, Wendy did a masterful job also on the arm like you heard and, and her and Vegas both uh, flew the MPLM and put it back in the payload bay and, and of course we had a great time visiting our friends and colleagues in space and, and, and eating with them and getting to, to sign the log book on, uh, on the International Space Station. Too bad we, we had to say goodbye. You notice Eileen is at the hatch and she's making sure we really do get back on the vehicle and come home. <laughs> After saying goodbye, we had to go ahead and leave, and this is a view of Discovery undocking uh, from the International Space Station. 1,000 feet. Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deploy. Nose gear touchdown. And Discovery is home. NASA's Kennedy Launch Pad Repair 